Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. Um, this episode we are going to talk about this over here, and we are going to do the implied energistic system, or at least the uh, very basics of it. Um, I know I said I would uh, improve this this episode, uh, but yeah. So having done the applied energistics portion that I wanted to get done, so we're going to work on that as well as talk about this. Uh, this is silver. Yeah. All right, this over here that you see that I'm currently throwing stuff in is just a basic auto packager system. Uh, I have a power ca uh, power conduit, okay, a conduit underneath that's feeding a power, and just outputting the stuff to the right as you would expect from the auto packager. Over here, as you may be able to see, the little pipe under there, it's pulling out uh, whatever I put into here <clears throat> and uh, sending it down to an autonomous activator uh, where there is also another autonomous activator with the uh, hammers. Uh, it's breaking it down and then sending it back to this barrel system. Uh, I, I, I almost have all the barrels necessary, I just need to make four more, and then I'll uh, have a barrel for every single item that can be produced. Uh, here is what I can show you from up here. Uh, yeah, here here's actually the pipe that goes from the, uh, the hammer system over there. Uh, yeah, we got autonomous activators here, the vacuum hopper, and this, and then uh, I apparently did not set that to output. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I've gotten thus far. Uh, just from a few minutes of time where that was uh, off. Um, I still have to finish up the ceiling. I'm actually replacing it all with the limestone brick. Um, appears I'm just missing it back here for now. But this is supposed to be more of a maintenance area anyway. And let's head on down a level. Uh, this is open sky. It's not a trunk air. I, again, still have to finish up this area. Alright, what I have here is uh, autonomous activators. Uh, around one of the uh, see, uh, sieves, sieves, as you can see, the items are flying up. Uh, I actually did this in the creative mode testing uh, before building it here to see how uh, if a sieve was encased in bricks or blocks of some sort and autonomous activators, where the items would go. And they apparently shoot out the top, uh, regardless of there just being one block above them. So each uh, each sieve has one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. It, it's rounded on all sides except for the bottom block. Uh, this goes through the the stuff pretty fast. Like if, if we watch here, we can just see it popping out over and over again. Uh, each one of these is responsible for a particular type of block. Uh, we got gravel over here. Which apparently it's out of. Wow. Gravel. Sand. There's a few pieces of sand left. And then finally dust. Uh, over here, you see these pulverizers. Uh, this is producing uh, dust. This is pu producing sand. And then finally gravel. Uh, this is a three pulverizers and two, then one pulverizer setup. I also have these pipes on the top because uh, there can be the byproduct of the sand or, uh, in this case, dust. So those come out, and same goes for here. This actually, wait, do I actually need that one? Yeah, because it goes from cobble to gravel. Yeah. All right. And yeah, this one just does cobblestone. Uh, here is the hammer setup I have. Uh, you can see the pipes running down from the barrel here uh, into this one with the hammers. This one is responsible for placing the uh, blocks, and this vacuum hopper is responsible for picking it up and sending it back into the storage system. Uh, I was originally only using the Ender Generator and the Survivalist Generator, however, uh, this was not enough power production uh, to maintain all this on a uh, reasonably fast level. So I used the hardened energy, energy conduits, which I had to make quite a few more of, and attached four steam dynamos to. Uh, I've been mainly feeding them blocks of charcoal. Uh, it's been producing enough power to uh, keep up and store some extra. 
just so I don't have to worry about uh, the blocks running out and then like, uh, what's going on? I don't have any charcoal. Uh, yeah, as you can see though, this is actually producing ores pretty fast. Like, I'm already up to five stacks of uh, redstone. And uh, as you may remember from last episode, I pretty much had nothing. Uh, by the way, this is the old room where I had this set up originally, but it was with the uh, smeltery as well. You can actually... Oh, damn it. Just didn't fall off the world there. Um, let's put that there. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, old building is actually still here, along with this hole where the smeltery was. I didn't bother taking this down only because I might need it at some point. Who knows? I'll leave this open for now anyway. Alright, I believe that is everything from that, and let me throw this in there because I do need the lava. Um, oh, this is all the uh, stuff I've made with it thus far, not including... Uh, with, with the ore production, not including what's in here, which uh, there's a lot of. Uh, if you want to take a moment to read Wayla information at the top there, feel free. By take a moment, I do mean pause the video, if you want. Anywho. And then we got these blocks over here that I've uh, poured out. What's at the top? Lead? Let's pull out another three of those. Then let's uh, head on down to this spot and get rid of these. Eh. Uh, do I have the mysterious magnet on me? Oh, we did forget to open this reward bag from last episode. Um, that shouldn't be a problem too much. Uh, where is that mysterious magnet? There it is. Alright, let's open this. Spike sword, huh? Isn't that what you already have? Yeah. Well, that's kind of worthless. Um, Alright, so over here you can see a... a hole. Damn, oak sapling. Uh, this is where the... Uh, crafting... assembling... Uh, ME assembler containment wall, the ME heat vents, crafting CPUs and pattern encoders are going. Uh, the walls need to go like this. Um, three, four, five, oops. So basically the walls make a cube shape. Go figure since this is indeed Minecraft. <laughs> I'd be a little more impressed though if it was a circle. Uh, that would be pretty difficult to make. Alrighty, we got those all placed. Next we need the heat vents. The heat vents go in between the wall segments. Uh, think of this as a giant computer case, if you will. And inside will be the pattern encoders. I had made all of these extra ones, by the way, off camera uh, after the last episode. I had to spend hours waiting for all the materials to uh, be made with the the system I had over there before. All right, that should should uh, should should thing. It's not working. Hmm. All right, give me a moment. I'm gonna look this up. Maybe this changed since I last played with Applied Energistics. Uh, yeah, be right back. Need to look this up. Already I'm back. I figured out what the issue was. Uh, these are the ME pattern providers. These are the pattern encoders. We need the pattern providers, not the encoders. I, uh, made 17 additional encoders by accident. Uh, I quickly whipped these up. Well, I don't know about quickly, I, I spent a decent amount of time making these, but there we go. We now have this. Uh, the crafting CPUs, each one allows me to craft an additional item uh, per crafting cycle, which I think is one every three ticks. 
or 0.6 seconds, something like that. Uh, yeah, so I get 10, even though I put 9 in there, because of this, this whole structure acts like a crafting CPU as well. Uh, the CPUs make it like a dual core, quad core, stuff like that. Uh, the pattern providers, um, they add additional pages into here, so we can have more and more recipes. So we don't have to manually craft it at all. Um, let's see, that we need the crafting terminal, we will need the Mii controller. Uh, did I already grab one of those? I did. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? We will need the 1k storage. Uh, just uh, throw some items in there. So I'm going to put the, uh, the controller there. Uh, this controller, if we look at it right now, shows that there is uh, the CPU components. Um, it's offline, it's, it has no power stored, and power is too low, and requires 6.6 .6 MJ, Minecraft Joules, per tick. At the moment, um, if we were to add the Mi Drive, you notice that it goes up 6.9, and we'll see the Mi Drive in the list. Uh, we can now add the crafting terminal. It's now up to 7.2, and we can see that in the list as well. Uh, the pattern encoder actually does not need power nor does it need to be connected to one of these, so we can just be off to the side. Um, let's see, I want to make sure there is nothing else I'm forgetting. Does not look like it. Alright. So we can open this up and put that in there, and we can actually see that on there now. Uh, what we need to do, however, is to run some cable um, either through the wall. Actually, I'm, I'm curious. Can the power go to anything? Does it have to go to the controller? What am I looking in there for? Conduits aren't in there. Uh, there it is. Um, let's see. Does that work? It does not. If it did, I would have seen the connection. Hmm. Can we microblock these stone slabs? I had made a, a saw a while back. Uh, we cannot. We should be able to microblock the spruce, though, right? Yes, we are. Able to. Um, alright, I think I'm going to have to do that then. So this can go back here, and I will run this through carefully. I will carefully run this through, because now I'm on the edge. Uh, da -da -da, so the opening should be here. Eh, what's below that? Okay, it's blocked. Hmm, short on cable. Or conduits, rather. Uh, do we have any more by chance? Conduit. We got the bloodstone there. Alright, how many more conduits do we need over here? Um, one, two, three, four. We need four more. Let's just go ahead and make uh, some leadstone ones, which is redstone, lead, and glass. Uh, with the with the leadstone ones, we're gonna make the uh, hardened versions. Um, we could do the redstone energy conduit soon. Um, I need to find a way to make this pulverized obsidian easy, uh, easily. Um, what was I doing? No, oh, right. Getting, getting stuff to make leadstone. Let's grab a couple stacks of redstone. We got the glass, now we need the lead. Uh, th these, uh, those mats are uh, leftover, or what I had last, from uh, the, the previous dust, or, or setup rather. 
And to make these, we need Invar and Redstone. Invar. Alrighty, we got 60 of these. It's warm plenty. Alrighty, that should be hooked up now. Let's see, how fast is that actually draining? It's draining at 400. That's not good. That means we're requiring 400 at least to maintain this. Um, and I already got a, I only have 180 over there. This is, however, active, which means we can open the crafting terminal and use it instead. So let's uh, let's let's throw some stuff in there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep those out because those are materials and I prefer not to lose them when the power goes out. Which it will go out eventually because this, this won't be able to keep up. Unfortunately. No, it's a price to pay with this big of a processing unit along with the well, just these few additions really don't make too much of a difference. It will start making a difference though once I start idling, uh, idling, adding cable. Um, let me check the time on this episode, and uh, apparently I still need to move those over. <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty, there's actually a decent amount of time left. I wanted to demonstrate the uh, C terminal or crafting terminal in here. Uh, as you can see, I put a diamond saw and the spruce wood planks. That's probably the reason I actually recombined them to demonstrate this. And you can see I get that. When I go to pull it, you'll notice it does not actually pull it from here. If you look up here, you'll see that 12, go to 11, 10, 9. And then as soon as I get down to 1, it stays in there because this is an actual block, it's just not a ghost copy. And then it goes away. I can do the same for everything else. I can actually put all 40 there if I wanted to. And apparently throw some blocks up the side. Okay. Uh, just quickly put these blocks here. Or micro blocks rather. Um, I also redesigned this room, if you can't tell. I like the spruce and the stone slab look a little better. I'm not sure about this floor, but I do like that as a... Uh, what do you call that? Accent? Floor border thing? I, I actually don't know what you would call that. Let's go ahead and throw that stuff in there, and we can combine this stuff back into blocks. No reason not to. Uh, our next goal, uh, after we work on the mob farm, will be to make a better power system. Yeah, this is already down. What? What? What is that? 22k. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 220,000 RF. Not not just 22k. 220,000. So that's not a good thing. Uh, we can use EU kilowatts. AE build craft, industrial craft, university rotary craft watts. Uh, what is this an EU? Because I actually I I understand EU. Even though IC two is not in this mod pack, we are using eighteen point two EU per tick. That's actually not too much. Um, hmm. What if we're draining power from the fact we're also smelting wood into charcoal for the uh, other power system in there? Uh, I think I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Okay, our next big project is to work on the power system 
before that, I'm going to look into big reactors. I know absolutely nothing in this mod, uh, outside of what I've seen briefly. Um, is there actually a book that's made crafted by this mod that demonstrates how to do things? It does not look like it is. Uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, next episode we will definitely work on the mob farm. Uh, for the rest of this episode, which is... Uh, I don't know, probably got five minutes left. We are going to... I don't know, what are we going to do? Hmm. Honestly, I thought this whole thing over here was going to take a while. Uh, do we have, what do we have in here? Actually, let's take a look at our quest log, see if there's anything we can do. Uh, and, actually, wait, I believe there is. Uh, for the hoarding, even more storage. Yeah, I believe, yeah, the 16M storage. Um, I do actually want to make that. Not only for the quest, but because, you know, it's 16M. Uh, so that needs, what, a Terra, which requires 3 Giga, which requires 3 Mega, which requires 3 Kilo, uh, Kilo? Yeah. Which requires storage clusters, storage blocks, storage segments, storage cells. Um, yeesh. Can I make blank patterns? I can. I need the surface quartz, iron, glowstone, and glass. Uh, this is going to be... Whoops. You have no idea how many times I've done that off camera. This is going to be the... Best example and practical use I can show for the crafting system in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Need this stuff in there. What am I doing on power? Doing fine there. How about over here? Am I still doing fine on power over here? Not really. I'm gonna do this quick then. I'm actually going to turn this off for uh, the production just to save on power. Um, hmm. Let's see, do I need anything else? I'll need these. Oops, I don't need them in there. I need them in here. Uh, this pattern encoder is going to go up there. And I am going to encode the pattern encoder. Enco encode the pattern encoder. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to put that in there. And now I can see that. I can craft this. Uh, I'm going to want... I'm going to want 30 of these for now. So it's going to begin crafting those, although we can't because uh, it is missing glass. Glass, and what else does it need? Um, glowstone, iron. It needs iron, that's right. Uh, let me just go ahead and make this rest of it into ingots. And there we go, we have 18 of them already. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's missing glass at this point. Let's clear that, throw these in there. We need to look at the 16M again. So we need to encode this. And we need to encode that. And we need to encode the Terra. Need to encode the Giga, right? Yep. Then we're going to need to encode the Mega and the Kilo. Then the storage cluster. Then the storage block. Storage segment and storage cell. So we're going to put all of these in here. And now I can request one of the 16Ms. 
and once I can start throwing in items, uh, it'll start making it. Uh, let me check the time on this episode once more. Uh, there is one other thing from the uh, Applied Energistics I want to make, which is the crafting monitor. It's uh, fairly basic to make. I thought we had to make one for the quest. Let me look to see if we actually did have to make one. Crafting monitor in here at all? No, no we didn't. Okay. So I'm going to check the time on the episode. Uh, if we have time, we'll make that. Otherwise, I'll just make it off camera. Uh, we're back. We're back. There's, uh, there's enough time for this. Uh, what do we need then? We need three glass, four iron, a basic, and a cable. Four iron? Four iron. Uh, we can grab the four iron from here. Now, I do know once the power goes out, we will not lose this. However, we will not be able to access it either. So that's kind of why I'm rushing that whole thing there. Uh, we need the glass there, this here, the cable, and I forgot the basic processor. Uh, I do not have a basic in there. Anything in there? No. In here. Got the advances in, uh, advanced ones in there. Do we not have a basic one? Really? And I didn't miss it in here, did I? No. Um. <laughs> Alright, how do you make one of these again? Quartz cutting knife, two redstone, gold, and silicon. Quartz cutting knife, gold, two redstone. And a silicon. Do I have a silicon in here? I do not. I do have the plastic for it though. So I happen to have one in one of these chests, do I? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let me come on over here then. No, go wait, iron ingot. Make one of those. Grab a couple of redstone. And I should have the materials to craft this. Alright. We can go ahead and smelt this up really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and do it for the top one. No particular reason, just just because. Alright, now we should be able to craft this crafting monitor and attach it. Yep, we can see what it's currently crafting. Um, it's still trying to craft 12 more blank patterns. It's currently crafting one glass, which it can't because it doesn't know how, and therefore it's missing one glass, so it can't finish that job. Uh, for the 16M storage, it's working on crafting diamonds, which it can't, so it's missing that which is causing all these uh, other things to be missing. And that's the other two, only two things I have crafting at the moment, huh? So let me grab some diamonds. Not all the diamonds. I didn't want all the diamonds. Uh, this... Oh. You didn't jam up, huh? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, if I accidentally pull out all of the uh, items in a in a barrel at the moment, it causes the uh, items that are not having any place to go to come out and ends up jamming it. So this needs diamonds, so let's give it a diamonds. Alright, now it's missing the basic processors and the advanced processors. Um, we'll do this portion next episode to some extent. I really do want to work on the mob farm to get that uh, running properly and a bit more efficient because right now I have to run all the way over there just to just to do it, get the mob's attention, bring them closer to the uh, grinder, and it it's just a pain. Yeah. 
I have gotten quite a bit of stuff from them, though. Oh, hey, random and pearl. I need you for power. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Ow. So, <laughs> till next time. Take it easy. And I'll try not to take fall damage again. <laughs> take care, guys.